Hi, my name is Tony Ridley, and once again, welcome to another crisis leadership and management education tutorial. In this section, we're talking about stakeholder analysis. One of the first things that we need to do is just cover off on some of the basic fundamentals and principles when it comes to crisis management. One of the uh, primary concerns and tasks for any crisis management team and crisis management uh, strategy is to be able to communicate with stakeholders, internal, external, um, and as a result, it's important to have a structured, consistent, replicatable process in order to address that particular demographic. And when I say that demographic, it's largely unknown. Some of them will be intuitive, some of them will be uh, obvious in terms of stakeholders, but the first thing we need to do is to qualify and identify exactly who and what and for what reasons um, we have stakeholders. So in this area here, we're talking about the priority of engagement, a very simplified uh, battle map uh, for something very simple and rudimentary in terms of identifying quickly and efficiently who one needs to communicate with. So if we use an X and Y axis here, um, we have power and influence and or stake or importance. So essentially, the greater the stake or the importance and the greater the power and the influence, the higher the priority we communicate with stakeholders. And stakeholders can range from external elements such as uh, vendor, suppliers, media, uh, regulatory bodies, uh, even local communities and customers, to internal stakeholders being departments, uh, shareholders to a degree, uh, families, and certainly employees, or even other uh, management, uh, particularly if this is uh, a multi-jurisdictional or multi-business affected crisis, uh, you'll quickly identify that you have your own uh, blockers, inhibitors, uh, enablers, and facilitators of the, the desired outcomes and results when we're talking about the effective management of crisis. So very quick, very simple, uh, very important stage in terms of identifying when you've gone through all of the evaluation criteria, you're coming up with courses of action, you're re-evaluating your objective and intent based on those courses of action is to identify and cover off on the aspects associated with stakeholders because largely they hold your fate in their hands as you'll see there in terms of the interest and influence as well as the ability to affect change and the priority or stake in which they take play in the organization. So that's just a very quick introduction overview of some uh, very simple and effective processes when we're talking about stakeholder analysis. Um, that's it for this uh, stage and this tutorial. Once again, thanks very much for joining us. And for further information and more tutorials on crisis leadership and management, go to www.crisismanagement.tony-ridley.com. That's all. Thanks and goodbye.